I'm Certified Tea Master Chaz Kroll, Executive Director of the American Tea Masters Association. I want to introduce you to an exciting new innovation, the American Tea Ceremony. Let me ask you, when was the last time you had a really earnest conversation with your children, creating the space for them to express their feelings and opinions? When was the last time you asked family members not to bring their cell phones to the dinner table? When was the last time you sat down at the table without your own cell phone? We live in an era where technological advancements run our lives. Cell phone calls, texting, searching the web, games and computer apps. And we call these smartphones today. You get the picture. We have allowed these technological innovations to affect not just our lives, but our personal values. I was in a doctor's office recently and watched a mother and her two teenage sons, each with their own cell phone, sit there for 25 minutes waiting for their appointment without saying a single word to one another. We created the American Tea Ceremony as a means to an end. Tea is the beverage of choice in many Chinese and Japanese households. Walk into a Chinese or Japanese home and what's the first thing you're asked? Have you had tea today? The creation of the American Tea Ceremony reflects the resurgence of interest in tea in America with consumption soon to exceed $10 billion in annual sales. The tea ceremony is an opportunity to model personal values for your children. Values guide their conduct and interaction by others by distinguishing right from wrong. Teaching them to children is a parent's responsibility. It is the single most important thing we can do for their happiness and well-being. Just imagine for a moment the look of excitement on your children's faces when you announce, time for tea. Sitting down for tea with your children on a regular basis is a unique opportunity to make a difference in their lives. Talk to them about love and respect, or learning and education, or any other value. You'll see their grades go up in school. They'll treat others with greater respect. Their perception of morality will become unshakable. Their vision of a future career path will become clear. And it all began with a simple cup of tea. What a beautiful concept, huh? The American Tea Ceremony was born utilizing teas grown from all parts of the world, reflecting the melting pot of ethnicity and the diverse cultures of which our nation's population is composed. Now onto the ceremony itself. The ceremony will be led by certified tea master Melissa Salazar. I personally trained and certified Melissa as a tea master. Thanks. Whoever is leading the ceremony should sample the teas to be served to determine the ideal temperature for brewing. Along with the length of time, each should be brewed. After all, to make a great cup of tea requires controlling the water temperature and steeping time. I'll explain in a moment. Several elements of the ceremony make it unique. Instead of preparing the tea in a ceramic or metal teapot, a glass tea press is used. Instead of pouring the tea into ceramic aroma cups, we use two ounce shot glasses for aroma cups. And we use glass tea cups instead of ceramic or porcelain. The significance of these changes allow the participants at the table, especially children, to watch the tea develop its natural color during steeping as the leaves open and expand. This adds a special mesmerizing effect to the ceremony. A suitable space must be provided for preparing and serving the tea. The surroundings should be peaceful and conducive to relaxation and communication. Now I'd like to invite the children to join me for tea. Come to tea! Yay, it's tea time! It's tea time! Yay! We're going to prepare a high-grade oolong tea today. 
These are the parameters we follow for preparing a superior cup of hot tea. As you can see, our oolong will be steeped at 180 degrees to 190 degrees Fahrenheit for two minutes. The following are the steps involved. Set the tone for the ceremony by offering a blessing. I want to bless the people responsible for growing and harvesting the tea we're going to enjoy today. Bless the vendors who made it available to us and a special blessing to our government for preserving our way of life. Place a teaspoon of the oolong on a white plate or bowl and capture the fragrance of the dry leaves and feel their texture. The aroma of the dry leaves and the tea itself after brewing is paramount. It is through our sense of smell that we perceive the essence of what we taste, which is where the aromatic complexity of a drink-like tea is revealed. The tea should be measured by the teaspoon in advance and ready to be placed in the tea press. Our rule of thumb is one teaspoon of tea for each six ounces of water. Since we're using a 12 ounce tea press, we're going to add two teaspoons of tea to the tea press. Next, we cover it with approximately one fluid ounce of hot water and slide the filter down to the top of the liquid. We pour it out after just a few seconds. This is to moisten the leaves so they'll begin to open. We remove the filter from the tea press and check our water temperature. Perfect! We're at 180. We're good to go. With the tea leaves in its base, we fill it with 12 ounces of 180 degree water. We put the lid back on and depress the plunger to the top of the water line. We set our timer for two minutes. We use the time while the tea is steeping to begin communicating with everyone at the table. We might mention the history or mythology surrounding the tea, or we might ask the adults or children at the table to share the best thing they experienced today. Or we might ask if anyone at the table has something special they would like to share. It's all about initiating conversation. When the time expires, we pour the tea directly into a 12 ounce glass pitcher to end the tea steeping process. Then we pour the tea from the pitcher into the aroma glasses and the balance into the tasting glasses. Then we ask each person to pour the tea in their aroma glass into their tasting glass and raise the aroma cup up to their nose, breathe in and capture the fragrance of the tea. Once completed, everyone may pick up their tasting glass and savor their first taste of tea and then sit back relax and enjoy every sip. Would you like to do it today? Can I do it? Well, I think it was Jasmine's turn this time. Yay! Okay, great.
delicious. Many of the teas, including this oolong, can be steeped a second and third time with increase in flavor. The final step in the ceremony is to spoon out the tea leaves. This is an important step in that the leaves will expand dramatically. You'll hear a lot of oohs and ahs as everyone experiences a sense of astonishment. Inspect the damp leaves, feel them, capture their fragrance. Now I would like to reintroduce Chaz for closing remark. Thank you. Besides the many health benefits tea has to offer, making time for tea can improve the quality of your life and those around you, especially children. The ceremony is a venue for expressing appreciation, love, and respect for one another. Because it is experiential, one may only realize its benefits after sitting down at the table to share your thoughts and feelings with others for some meaningful camaraderie, stimulating conversation, and an extremely satisfying cup of tea. You'll find more information on the American Tea Ceremony on our website at teamasters.org. Thank you and blessings. Thank you.